Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we are developing a full secure authentication and posts management system using Node.js, MongoDB, Express.js and EJS templating engine. And in previous video, you have already seen how I worked on homepage to make it dynamic with apagination. Now this project is uh, almost completed. Now today in this video, I am only going to show you how to store current authenticated users session data into MongoDB database. Okay so let's start so this is my project inside vs code and here i already started npm run dev command let me close this terminal now first let me show you so if you open this routes directory and open this auth routes.js file and here you can see this is the uh, route for login okay so this is the post route for login now here you can see when user authenticated successfully then we are storing the user detail whole user detail into this user variable in session okay but now i will store the uh, authenticated users session data into mongodb database so let's see how we can do this let's close this uh, file and uh, let me show you so if i open this package.json file then here you can see there there is a package connect hyphen mongodb hyphen session is already installed so using this package we will store the session data into mongodb database okay so let me close this file and open server.js file here what i will do is i will import connect uh, mongodb session from connect hyphen mongodb hyphen session and here i will create a const mongodb store and i will use this here connect mongodb session and then here i will pass the session which is already imported here you can see import session from express session now i will use this uh, here inside this middleware session middleware okay so here i will use store store and then i will use new mongodb store and here i'll pass some properties like uh, uri so here we have to uh, pass the database uri mongodb database uri okay so here i will write process.env dot mongo underscore db underscore uri okay let me show you in the dot env file so here you can see this is the uri for the mongodb database so you have to use this here okay and then you can uh, use uh, any name for the collection so using collection uh, property you can assign any name so i will use session okay now all done let me save this file now before going to show you let me open the database and here you can see uh, there are two collections showing posts and users okay now let me go to login and uh, let me log in with this user okay so here you can see i just logged in with this user and uh, now i can access all the protected routes okay now if i go to database and uh, refresh here then you can see there is a new collection created with the name session okay now if i open sessions then there is a new record created here with the id and expiration date and time now if i expand the session object then here in user you can see the current logged in user detail like uh, id name email password and all the details okay now let me go here and let me log out now if i refresh again then in session you can see uh, there is no user object available okay so once user logged out then the user uh, from the session removed automatically and once let me log in again now you can see i am authenticated again now if i re refresh then here you can see if i expand the session then you can see the user object is showing again with the current authenticated user detail okay so this is all about uh, storing the session data into mongodb database so i hope you like this whole series 
if you have any questions regarding this series then you can ask in the comment uh, section i will try to answer your query and thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel